Not gonna lie, there is some pretty cool stuff. Hello my friends and how are you doing? Today I want to show you something that is pretty cool but at the same time I want to nag a little bit about that and actually I wanted to do a video about the AI news of this week which there has been so much amazing stuff which I missed out on doing videos because I'm going a little bit through an existential crisis maybe a tiny bit you shouldn't be concerned with that but of course you feel the effects and is actually getting well but at the same time a little bit slow so I'm gonna do the news video tomorrow and today I'm doing this and it's gonna be a lot of fun because I can complain a little bit let's get started but first I want to show you some images generated with frames and not gonna lie there is some pretty cool stuff So if you're still here and watching, this is about frames from Runway, which is actually kind of like a cool tool. It's their like direction of going into image generation and it's their own model and it's for world building, which means that you have like more of a consistent style that you can work with. And it's very cinematic and has this kind of like analog feel and everything. You can try out things at the same time. It's a little bit basic and I feel like it's a little bit slow also um, so let's look at that tool because it's still noteworthy and it's a development in the AI world that you should think about and I also will make a video soonish maybe in two days I can't promise where I will show you how to do the same thing with open source software which means ComfyUI because this is complex and you can only do complex things in ComfyUI um, so yeah, let's get started with this first. You have here on the left side the prompt box for the image generation where you can describe your stuff. There's also a guide which is very nice. We're going to look at that in a second. Below that you have styles. You can also come up with your own style. Here is the first thing I want to nag about. And I know this is a new tool and they're going to improve stuff in the future. But I, I would think that this should be like a from the start kind of like feature so when you add a style here um, you get this box where you can add like a prompt up to thousand words so one thing that like runway is known for is their like strict how can I say moderation auto moderation by AI a lot of things you can't even put into the prompt so they're rather restrictive this is what I always disliked about runway and please if you watch this video and I know you watch this video change that rethink that because why if you don't like the content that we create just put it in private mode so nobody sees it but let us create it's not a good idea to just censor us for reasons you don't even have the right to do that I have voted for my politicians you are not my president you're not my you know what I mean anyways let's go on the thing that I'm missing here is this is about style so why can't I use images as a style guide so I can actually show the style I want no I have to describe it in words and of course that doesn't really work as well because language is just limited right um so yeah i just to jump over to that uh, uh second i used of course chat gpt you can use any llm you want to describe a style i wanted to have the style of the first alien movie by ridley scott beautiful film if you haven't seen it a classic an absolute classic of sci-fi um of course you can't use the name ridley scott on runway because it is filtered out so you have to dance around that and i had it describe that style to bring that over pretty nice description i wanted it to be about the colors and the mood and the time it was filmed like it's an analog film classic film from the 70s right stuff like that which most of that is in here in the prompt and ask it to create that so i saved this down here as a style description which then if i select this from that box here so i can click on that you see now it's selected it should use that style 
in every image generation. However, this was a little bit of a tricky move on my side because as you can see from all of these images that they suggest to you, this is more about a modern slick style that you have in fashion videos, advertisement, hip hop videos, stuff like that. Fresh, young, cool, hip, digital, modern. That is what they want to create. But if I build a world, I want to build my world, not your world. And I know, like I said, this is a new model. So I understand that it can't do everything. Just saying it didn't do that thing. Well, let me actually show what it did. So let's go over to here where you can see the examples. And actually, to be honest, it does it sometimes. So when we click on this image here, you can see it has this like moody, green, dark, a little bit horror style image. So that's kind of cool. She doesn't really wear a spacesuit in that. So yeah, but the, it has some like pipes hanging down. So it's a little bit like alien. But then of course, if we look at this image, it's completely not alien. It's way too bright. It's way too digital. It has this kind of NASA punk style, which means that it's NASA inspired, which you can also see from the astronaut suit. Completely not what I'm asking for. And also it doesn't look like the 70s. And then here we have whatever that is with the bright orange in that helmet. I don't know what's going on there. And maybe the Kool-Aid man had some fun with that helmet. I don't know. It's just like it's not what I'm asking for, even though the atmosphere is not too bad with these kind of neon lights in the background. It's pretty cool. But incidentally, when we talk about generation and who can do it best, here we have Mid Journey and Mid Journey couldn't do it either. So for some reason, like a fashion shooting style with pink light in the background and pink glasses. And I don't know what's going on here. This one is very beautiful. It has a little bit of that green moody light. I love that image, but it has nothing to do with a spacesuit or a horror movie or some sci fi scenario. It's just a completely different setup. And then this one has a spacesuit, but it is again more more like this kind of NASA punk style, which is kind of cool, kind of like promoted by the video game Starfield, which is not a good, great game. But at the same time, it's yeah, it defined this kind of genre more. Right. And this has more of that. And then we're heading over to Korea to compare this. And guess what? Without this promoting Korea at all, I just like recently they just have good stuff and this completely understand the task and created the images I want from that prompt. So check out this image here. It has the moody light. It looks analog. It looks like a vintage movie. It has kind of a spacesuit, not a helmet, but something that looks spacesuitish in a 70s style. Really like that. Even some shoulder pads. Pretty cool. There we have another one with a nice helmet, tight sitting spacesuit again, kind of like 70s style. Good mood from the light in here, industrial complex, everything I asked for, really like that too. And this with the puffy shoulders is probably the most vintage kind of thing. And it is space era sci fi vintage style. Really like that. Maybe more like 60s style, but I'm okay with that. The mood is there. The colors are there. Also pretty nice. And if you think, hey, I'm cherry picking here. No, we can scroll up and you can see picture after picture, generation after generation has this kind of style. I adapted the prompt a little bit, but you can see it always has this kind of like moodiness in there. And you can also see that this just looks like a classic old school video. Of course, this is built on flux in that case. And because of that, the quality is just really nice, which also probably means that you can run this in the same way locally by running flux. But let's go back to the actual topic of today, and that is runway frames. So let's look at some of the other features here. You have here a choice of different ratios, which go down to 21.9, which I I love and I would hope that we had TVs like that because this is my favorite format. It's so cinematic. But yeah, you have a lot of different choices here, which is pretty nice. They go horizontal and in portrait mode, so vertical basically. Then over here, you have an aesthetic range that you can set higher or lower, which is also very nice. And then here for the settings, it's super limited. You can either fix the seat or not fix the seat. And as you can see, this 
will probably in the future get a lot more settings right now it's pretty bare bones then as i was talking before they have a prompting guide and that is actually pretty cool because it has a lot of information here the basic prompt what it should include subject scene composition lightning color style focus angle text and mood not lightning but lighting actually and then here are some examples what it can do with a simple prompt with a detailed prompt so both of them work which is pretty good so you can go pretty long with your prompt to get pretty detailed even though as you have seen it doesn't really pick up on a lot of stuff and here is some best practice what to do what not to do so don't talk to it like it is chat gpt actually just write an image prompt as an actual prompt they have some more examples here of all kinds of things you can see you can also do other stuff like lo-fi this kind of like 2d style and so on so it is fairly flexible but um, as you've seen it's maybe not always the right choice to use so let's make a test here i say a man walking in a city i select the 3d cartoon style let's see what we get from that as you can see the generation is a little bit slow because first it is queuing up even if you have only one generation and then it starts to generate which is kind of fast but for example Korea is lightning fast you click on it and two seconds later you have four images all generated with flux um, mid journey is pretty okay it's like in the middle it's a little bit slow but not super slow and there we have the image my prompt is not super detailed so it generated all kinds of different ethnicities which actually is nice it didn't just like default onto a white man with a white look so let's select this friendly fella here walking down the city street and as you can see on the right side you get some information on what is going on here you also get the seat which is pretty nice the aesthetic range so you have the information of how you have created that which helps with the production of course and you can click here on use and when you click on use this is actually loaded into the video generation which is pretty amazing because runway is mostly about video and down here you can select between alpha turbo and gen 2 with turbo you actually have a little bit more choices because as you can see right now we are using alpha you have first frame or last frame but if you go over to gen 3 alpha turbo this will actually give you the choice between first frame mid frame and last frame and then also you have a lot of tools here on the side for example for the camera control where you can do like panning you can zoom in and out vertical movement tilt and so on you can use it with act one which actually takes your face when you film it and also your voice so it makes a lip sync and it makes a video based on your mimic and expression that is pretty nice and after what if you want to you can also expand the video to different formats as you see here like horizontal or vertical if you want to and which really helps to make a video that you can use for example for a youtube short so let's click here on generate and see what we get with turbo the generation for videos on runway is actually blasting fast as you can see here with the turbo model i'm always super surprised how fast their generation is for video and then at the same time you get some pretty good quality and there we already have the video let's make this full screen and as you can see our dude is walking down the street how amazing is that oh there's even a car <laughs> driving on the sidewalk so that might not be perfect but the walking animation and how the background moves to that is actually pretty good and of course you can do reruns if you want to and at the same time if i use this now with act one i can make this dude talk or sing or have any kind of other expression that is pretty amazing thanks for watching my friends and see you soon bye